Hey, what's up? Been looking for me? Yeah, I have too. Kind of been in a funk lately. You know, I, I got back from that last business trip from Philly, but I just, you know, I can't get in the groove. Uh, I've kind of had this, I don't know, it's just kind of weird, funky feeling for the last, I don't know, six weeks. I wonder, is that a coincidence? That's when I traded in the Fat Bob. So yeah, for the last six weeks or so, I've just kind of, I don't know, I've had this creative block. I've just been in kind of this funk. I think there's, you know, a lot of things kind of contributing to that. You know, one um, that's probably the biggest contributor is I traded in my bike six weeks ago. I hadn't felt good. So I've been dealing with the typical day-to-day -day life stuff and I haven't had that, uh, that de-stressor, you know, opportunity that, um, that wind therapy, you know, get on the bike and just go and you need to kind of like decompress and kind of push stuff out of your head. I uh, haven't had the luxury of doing that. Yeah, I can get in my car, put my helmet on and drive around, but that's really not the same thing, you know. So yeah, so not having the bike for six weeks hasn't helped uh, the situation at all. And, uh, you know, the anxiety, I guess, around when the next bike's coming hasn't helped either. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Normally, I am pretty good about researching every little thing when I make decisions about, I don't know, buying a motorcycle or buying a car or anything of that, um, you know, that order of magnitude. And when I got into kind of designing what I wanted for the new bike, um, I didn't perform actually due diligence the way that I should. So we put the bike, we put the order in for the new, I actually, I've got the bike. I've had the bike for six weeks. The bike was there when I, when I traded in the Fat Bob. I didn't want to take delivery though because there were some things that I wanted to do to the bike. Um, the, the, the last part of that is this paint job that I want to do on the bike that I've got, I got in my head. I need to collaborate with a painter on. Um, but as I was designing the few things with the bike that I, I needed them to do before I took delivery, there was one component that I didn't do my research on. Everything else came in like within a week, we were good to go on the stuff I'm doing, uh, but this one component didn't show, didn't show, I went to Philly for work, didn't show, came back and uh, went out to talk to the guys and found out that there's actually a 30 day delay uh, for all orders, 100% of the orders going in for that part, uh, which means that, you know, from the time that was ordered, it was going to be probably five weeks before I, I took possession of that part. So I lost a lot of time. We made some adjustments. Um, I'm happy to say that the bike went to paint on Friday. I'm recording this on a Sunday. I'm going to drop it on Monday. So what, two days before you'll have seen this, or three days before you have seen this, the bike uh, shipped out for paint. So now we're looking at maybe taking delivery of the bike around sometime in the second week of January, which I'm super stoked about. But the problem I have with that, that's kind of, I think, got me in this funk, is I, ha I, you know, I haven't really had a, a kind of a schedule that I've been able to lay out in my mind and say, okay, this is when I'm gonna hit these milestones, this is when I'll have the bike. Uh, up until Friday and you know I don't know I'm gonna talk to the painter tomorrow who knows maybe that changes but at least now I have kind of a time frame uh, the challenge that's presented for me though is my garage is stacking up with stuff um, to mod the bike with and I'll do a video and eh, maybe that's the video I should have been doing now I don't know before for the weeks out I'll drop a video and let you know what's going on with that but I am partnering with some companies um, on the the build for the new bike, which I'm super excited about. But now I'm really anxious because I'm looking at all these parts sitting there waiting for me to do the work on the bike and get the videos out. And of course, I don't have a bike. So that's been a bit of a challenge. And it's kind of put me in a not, uh, not a, a, a defunct mood, you know? 
So I haven't been getting videos out. The other thing uh, for me, I, you know, I know it's, it's that time of year again, right? It's the holiday season. And I know everybody puts on a face and everybody wants to be happy and talk about joy and love and peace on earth and harmony. Um, yeah, I hate to tell you, but not everybody gets that vibe from the holiday season. And quite frankly, I'm one of those people that, that don't get that vibe. It's, uh, you know, the holiday seasons just, I don't know, every time it, you know, every time the season comes around, it's just kind of like, I don't know. I don't, I don't run around in, in an elf outfit. It's not my thing. When I was a kid, yeah, I loved, uh, I loved this time of year. It was great, especially when my grandmother was still alive. That you know, she just, uh, she was an angel on earth, and she made, she made uh, the holiday season, you know, what it's what it's supposed to be. And then ever since you know she passed, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just I'm not, I'm not, I don't get like depressed or anything. I just don't. It's just, it's just a funky time. Okay. It's a funky time. So I've been slow in getting content out, and I know a lot of folks have reached out and said, hey, dude, what's going on? We haven't heard from you. When are you going to get a video out? Um, I apologize. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of let you know what, where I am, right? And, and hopefully things will get back on track. Uh, plus, I've been you know, putting in what, what creative time that I have in with the... Uh, with the uh, podcast, with my friends over at the Five Dirty Bikers, make sure you check us out over there. We got some awesome news coming up. Really excited about stuff that we're going to be doing in 2022 from uh, from the podcast. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Things will pick up. Things will definitely pick up. I'll try to get a couple of videos out over the next week or two uh, to kind of give you an idea of what's going on with the, the new bike. Uh, if all goes according to the plans as I understand them now, we will do a bike reveal around the middle of January, and then things are going to kick in, in high gear. Uh, I have a lot of plans. Everything's laid out uh, for probably 8 to 12 weeks after I take delivery of the bike. I'm really looking forward to getting started on that, and I have kind of loosely almost committed to a trip the first week in March, where I may be going out to Wisconsin for Mama Tried. And I don't know if anyone's going to go uh, from my buddies to meet me yet or not, if I do go, but, you know, we'll see how that plays out. A lot of that will come down probably to, to weather and, uh, you know, taking delivery of the new bike. I'm not going to give you a lot of details on the bike yet. We, we, I want to do a big unveiling on that and then just kind of roll this stuff out. It's going to be cool, though. I hope you guys will stick around. Um, I, 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 I am going to have, like, I think probably three themes uh, going next year on the channel. One is the new bike and, you know, building that bike out. Two will be um, um, probably how do you handle the transition? Right, going from the soft tail platform to where I'm going and the and the bike I'm going to and the type of bike, I think, I think there'd be some interesting content around that. Uh, and then the third will kind of be getting back to you know, um, just riding and, and and what what this new bike is going to do, um, you know, how it's going to affect my life in a positive manner and how I'm going to be able to leverage. Uh, this platform that I'm moving to, to have a, a um, you know, a, a deeper uh, impact uh, on my life as I kind of get ready and I'm going through this, uh, this next phase of, of transition um, on many levels. Anyway, I'm rambling. I've got no focus. I'm just not creative right now. I'm sorry. But uh, I hope you guys will hang around for in, uh, on the channel for, for the next year because it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. Wish you guys the best uh, whichever holiday you celebrate. You know, hopefully you get to spend some time with your family this week. That is one highlight. I'm actually going to get to go spend some time with my nieces who I, uh, they own me. They, they own my heart. And uh, it will be, did I just pat my mic? I'm using the lab for the first time. I think I might have just screwed up. Anyway, they own my heart, and I'm really looking forward to spending, um, you know, the next week or so with them. 
this will be the first winter that we've been together because it's in Chicago. And I usually don't go to Chicago this time of year. I've had a pretty hard, fast rule about that for, for a long time, but I'm going to break that rule this year. You guys have a good one. Peace. Thank you.